What's some juicy gossip you just found out in your personal lives? My uncle told my parents that he needed money because he borrowed from the Chinese mafia and they were threatening to kill him and his family or something. My parents sent him some money and then two weeks later he posted a pic with a new car. Edit, my uncle said the money he borrowed was to pay off his house. Edit 2, he did not actually borrow from the Chinese mafia. He didn't even get a new house. More clarification, we are Chinese Malaysian. Most of our family lives in Malaysia while we live in the US. People who sue ask us for money BC my parents started a good business here. My barber got two different girls pregnant, neither of whom are his girlfriend. Prices have went up a little bit but the phone calls I overhear are worth it lol. Edit, wow thanks for the gold and silver kind strangers. I feel like I've finally made it in life now. Some girl in our year at school posted on Facebook the other day how her boyfriend had supposedly cheated on her. They had a full-blown argument in the comments just on Facebook for everyone to see. Yesterday she posted a picture of some keys tagging her boyfriend in it saying just bought our first house together. We got a new boss like a year ago at work and we've been hating it. People are getting written up for petty shit and suspended and losing their bonuses. I'm a good employee, but this stuff finally caught up to me too and I got written up for getting injured at work. Long story. I don't play, so where it said employee comments on the write-up I said see attached and typed out a three-page defense talking about how I thought it was unfair and how I thought people had been getting treated unfairly for a year now. The next day I got called into a meeting by my boss, and his boss and his boss and an HR rep so they could grill me about it. By the end of the meeting we had all figured out that it was actually the HR rep who had been screwing with people for a year now, and the anger shifted completely away from me and onto her. I went around and told everybody about it. We're going to make this bitch pay. I just found out that one of my work colleagues who just returned from a two-week expensive holiday with his wife in Iceland has just found out his wife has run up about £50,000 debt on numerous credit cards. One of the girls in our group of friends has never really gotten over her ex that left her three years ago. She will often bring him up when drunk and it has really hampered her dating life. He lives thousands of miles away, and today he posted a picture of him sitting with an attractive dude getting coffee. They are holding hands and their legs are touching. We were all sitting around the TV hanging out when she saw the picture. Shell shock is the best description for her face. I was told that my great-grandfather kept the family farm in business by blatant and repeated acts of insurance fraud. I know a guy who got his friend to marry him so he can get a green card. Except his friend was already in a relationship. Not only did my friend get married, he also inherited a boyfriend-in-law. Now the three of them live in the same house. My soon-to-be ex-wife and I separated in August 2018. She decided to end the marriage because she concluded that I would never trust her after she had an affair for more than half of our 15-year marriage. We tried to reconcile for two years during which time she repeatedly told me that she had changed and that she'd never lie to me again. But, I kept catching her in lie after lie. Now, she is seriously dating a guy, since at least December. And she's cheating on him with another guy. Remember folks, she has changed. My cousin has been together with his wife for 14 years and has had a girlfriend for just as long. Neither of them knew about the other. He got caught because of an image on Facebook. His wife's sister posted a family picture which my cousin was in and got recognized by his girlfriend's sister's acquaintance. He got away with that for 14 years. My neighbor's cousin broke into her house and stole 37 guns. Also I learned my neighbor owned at least 37 guns. My wife's gay brother is having an affair with his husband's half-sister. The friend that told me, also says the half-sister is desperate to get pregnant. This could get interesting. Edit, I'll cover off a few of the more common questions. No, my wife doesn't know yet. I will tell her soon, she's been insanely stressed at work finishing a project, I didn't want to burden her additionally. Yes, sounds like he is bi, rather than gay. Should have said in the original post, he has no idea that she is trying to get pregnant. 
My co-worker makes $10 an hour works part-time and pays for her living, still married, boyfriend's rent and child support cause he's broke. She just found his bank receipt showing $17,000 in his checking account. Teacher is having an affair with a married security guard. They're not very careful about the flirting though because most of the 6th graders have figured it out. Can't wait to see what happens. Edit this is in Massachusetts for all those wondering. Sound like a very common situation. Edit number 2 I am a teacher not a 6th grader. Edit number 3 Wow. First silver. Thank you kind stranger. An ex-friend of mine from high school is now in the middle of the second divorce. Apparently it's because she cheated on her second husband with her now current boyfriend. This is the second time she's cheated on her husband and I'm curious if she'll marry the current boyfriend and then cheat on him. Karen from Spin Class has a new rice cooker. Commenting from my other account. A couple that we have been friends with for a few years now, both very normal people with vanilla jobs, took a trip overseas that was supposed to last a week. Not unusual for any of our group of friends. No one had heard from them for close to a month until we found out they've been arrested on the other side of the fucking earth trying to smuggle out close to one fucking million dollars for an international drug cartel out of the country they were visiting. When we heard the news we were just sitting there quietly in disbelief for about five minutes. This woman I know is dating a very shady guy. She's nearly 40 and desperate, so she overlooks a lot of the red flags. All her friends think he's an asshole. He claims he disappears every now and then because, get this, he works for WikiLeaks. He is married to someone. He claims that they got married only for visa purposes and they only fucked like a few times. He has citizenship now, but they aren't divorced because of some paperwork stuff involving, you guessed it, WikiLeaks. He vacillates between having her attend his family events and declaring that he doesn't believe in marriage and kids. Though, of course, he's married already. He recently suggested they be in an open relationship. She has always wanted marriage and kids, so it surprised me she got on board this relatively easily. I suspect it's because she wants to hold on to him. One of my sister's friends from her sorority had a mental breakdown on her two roommates. Of all the crazy shit I overheard, the best part was when she got in her car and proceeded to ram into the back of one of the other friend's car, over and over, for almost two hours. Like, the got security camera footage of her ramming the car, backing up, and doing it again for two whole fucking hours. Amazing friend is getting married next weekend. They've been together a few years and have a two-year-old son. At his bachelor party, we were all poking fun at him on whether or not he was ready. Shit-faced or sober he is 100% committed to them. Another friend of mine is close friends with the bride who is apparently questioning everything about their relationship and has repeatedly stated that he's not the type of guy she ever imagined seeing herself with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.